Okay, so before we end this video, I want to tell you specifically that in some situations, the intercept method will not work. Now this occurs when the x and the y intercepts are the same. And you'll notice this right away because you'll see a linear equation of the form ax plus by equals zero. So basically your c term, right, we're used to reading this as ax plus by equals c, your c term here is zero. So if you have something like 2x plus 3y equals zero, or maybe negative 4x minus 7y equals zero, whatever it is, the c term is going to be zero. When that happens, you have a graph that passes through the origin, right? That's the point zero comma zero. And so your x and your y intercept, they're going to be the same. They're going to occur at zero comma zero. So you're not going to be able to use the intercept method because you're only going to be able to get one point out of that. So you're going to have to choose two other points or at least one other point. So we'll look at one quick example here. This isn't really that difficult of a situation to get through. It's just something that you need to know that will occur. That way you don't sit there using the intercept method and say, hey, well, what happened? So we have 6x minus 8y equals 0. And I know automatically that my x and y intercept will occur at 0 comma 0. So I can put that in as a point. And you can see that easily if you plug a 0 in there and there. You'd have 6 times 0, which is 0, minus 8 times 0, which is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. That gives you a true statement. Now I need to choose two other points. Let's say negative 4 for x. So 6 times negative 4 minus 8y equals 0. This would be negative 24 minus 8y equals 0. I could add 24 to both sides of the equation then I would get negative 8y equals 24. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 8 will yield y equals negative 3. Okay, and then one more point, just for a little check or a test point here. Uh, we'll say, let's choose a y value of 6. Looks like that would work out pretty well. So if we had 6x minus 8 times 6, plug in a 6 for y, equals 0. 8 times 6 is 48. This would be 6x minus 48 equals 0. Add 48 to both sides of the equation. We're going to get 6x equals 48. Divide both sides of the equation by 6. And we're going to get x equals 8. Right? 48 divided by 6 is 8. So then I can put an 8 in there. And this type of equation isn't any more difficult than, you know, a regular one that we worked in the past two examples. It's just, if you can look at the equation and you know that the x and y intercept occur at 0 comma 0, you've already saved yourself a little bit of time because you know one point. Now, we have three ordered pairs here. We have 0 comma 0, we have negative 4 comma negative 3, and we have 8 comma 6. Let's go ahead and just graph this equation real quick. And again, this is our y-axis, and this is our x-axis. And then we have x comma y. And I just keep writing this stuff so that it sinks in. You know, if you see this enough times, you'll just remember. It's one of those things, you just need practice. So again, our, our points were 0 comma 0, negative 4 comma negative 3, and then 8 comma 6. So 0 comma 0 is the origin. It's right here. It's where the x and the y axis meet each other. So this is 0 comma 0. Next we have negative 4 comma negative 3. So negative 4 is the x location, so I'm going 4 units to the left. Negative 3 is the y location, so I'm going 3 units down. So 4 units left and 3 units down is right here. So this would be negative 4 comma negative 3. Then we have 8 comma 6. So 8 would be the location on the x-axis, so I'm going 8 units to the right. And then 6 is the location on the y-axis, so I'm going 6 units up. So 8 units to the right and then 6 units up is right here. So this is 8 comma 6. 
Okay, so now I just want to draw a line that connects these points. Okay, so we draw the line, and then I'm going to put two arrows at the end, again, to indicate that this extends indefinitely in both directions. And you can clearly see that your x and y intercept are right here. So that occurs again at 0, comma, 0, right? That's your x and y intercepts here. 